Thank you for being with us tonight. I'm Jennifer Bellamy and I'm Ron Jones. Brand new tonight. Cobb County School Superintendent says mask will remain optional. It's the only district in the Metro not requiring mask for in person learning. Hope Ford was at the school board district's meeting tonight where a couple hundred people showed up to protest. She joins us now live. Hope. Yeah, right before that meeting, like you said, there were about 200 people who were protesting for different reasons. Some people were out here and they supported the district's mask optional policy, but other people who were out here uh, say that they wanted a mask mandate and they saw that as the only way that the district could keep from COVID cases rising. One meeting moving on to item number five, where one word came up a lot. Have a choice. My choice. Family choice. Each side here, as you heard it, wants a choice. That's all I'm asking. Whether inside. One of my only protections right now is masks. Truth, science, or outside. Science. The debate over masks in Cobb County was the center. My husband was in the hospital with COVID. I get COVID is real. It's not, this don't help. Optional is fine, but mandating masks I'm against. And Superintendent Chris Ragsdale opting for parents to have their preference. I do not believe it is appropriate to mandate either decision, which would remove the ability for each family to make the best decision for them as a family. But while some agreed. I do, yeah, I do. Others believe the district just made the decision for them and their children. They're minors, they're counting on us. And children under 12 can't even be vaccinated. So it's not like it's, they don't have a choice. Now there was a change, a slight change in one of the policies involving quarantine. Now previously, any child that came into close contact with a COVID positive student or employee, they were required, they were required to come back to school without quarantining. They've now changed that. And so now starting on Monday, any child that's come into that close contact with a positive uh, a COVID positive person, they will be quarantined for three days at home. And then on day four, their parent can opt to send them back to school if they are asymptomatic. Jennifer. All right, Hope, an issue that probably won't be going away anytime soon. Thank you so much.